the lobbying of the Eolia environment grassroots um, in the wa in water. Basically, you can say it is important to have a very, very wide and diversified lobbying network to be efficient. What is important is to have the same kind of message delivered through as many channels as possible. So you can use think tanks to organize, to organize debates. You can use general business lobbies. You can use specialized water lobbies, such as this, those ones. And you can use global bodies, such as the World Water Forum, etc. For example, Veolia is dominating one body which is very closely advising DG research about what kind of projects, research projects, it should fund in the five coming years. They are uh, the main funders, I think, I think they are the biggest funders of an entity which is called the Water Supply and Sanitation Technology Platform. So this means, basically, Veolia is influencing the Commission on uh, research projects it will apply to afterwards. So, basically, it will get the European Commission funding project it has asked to be funded. The privatization waves in Europe were never brought on by a large public discourse, but always by a sudden court decision made by the European Supreme Court of Justice, with the intention to force entry into one market or other, or a guideline by the European Commission. And that's why I say, be awake is the rule of thumb. The corporations who wish to break into these business areas continue to exist, and they are constantly rattling the gate of entry to these markets.